Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. 19th March 2022, Palakkad. Mohini Atam dancer Nina Prasad was dancing as part of a book release function in Palakkad in a high school auditorium. Well, the program was going on fine until at 8.30, it was rudely interrupted on the basis of a complaint by a neighbor who happened to be a district judge. His name is Kalam Pasha. And his, this person evidently had called for the police and asked them to go shut it down, complaining that the noise was too loud. Well, the group, the event organizers had obtained permission to do the dance till 9.30 p.m. As to why the police decided to forget about that and break it up at 8.30, thereby handling a big insult to the dancer and to the assembled audience that this is the kind of thing that they can do is a shame on its own. More importantly, what was the judge thinking? Just because he thinks that he can call the police, he can just tell them that, well, I don't want this noise, shut it down. Under what condition was that person acting? Because a few days later, the Palakkad Bar Association protested against this action of the judge. And then the judge writes to the association saying, oh no, I know Carnatic music, I know Bharatanatyam, I trained for six years and I almost went up to Arangay Terminal. Uh, 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 uh. Terminal inexactitude. Anyone who has been learning Bharatanatyam will tell that it takes at least eight to 10 years before you are ready to perform Arangetram. That too, if your guru feels that you are fit to do that. There are lots of things that go into it. Expressions, uh, stamina, energy, uh, all sorts of stuff. So just to you know, write in one line that this person learned. So that's all the more reason you should understand the amount of effort that takes to do the dance. So whatever it is that the judge is trying to do, I think people should take cognizance of the fact that there are people in India who think that they can throw themselves about, throw their weight around and get whatever they want. Laws be damned. Well, that has to stop. I mean, this has been my pet peeve for a long time. The law is there and only when it's applied fairly across the spectrum can you say that the government, which is the state government of uh, Mr. Pinarayi Vijayan is acting fairly. At this point, it is very selective, especially in some states where the BJP is not in power. So where is this going to lead to? I don't know, but I certainly do feel that a line has been drawn that the minority community cannot enjoy the special privileges that they used to think they had. Now everybody is waking up. Second, they are questioning, how can you do this? In fact, I would be so bold to ask the police on a written order of the judge, did they act or was it just a phone? If it is a phone call, I'm afraid the organizer should complain about the police officer who headed this team. Because this is again, a dereliction of duty. In my opinion, it is something that this person has gone based on a verbal complaint. In fact, it's, it's even more interesting. They are saying that uh, the judge is saying that somebody from his house just went and told not to stop it, but to play it less loud and to have the audience come closer to the stage. Imagine the same thing happen in a slightly different way. Would somebody go and request this player of the Azan in the mosque to play it quietly so that everything is within just the mosque? Has it ever happened? So this, this feeling of entitlement that the minorities enjoy has to stop and it will stop today. And, and I cannot tell you enough examples where now suddenly all these goodies are being pulled back. For instance, in the first term of Yogi Adityanath, he had said that every mad madrasa has to start with the national anthem, Janaganamana. Many resisted. Some tried to do something else. They tried to sing Sare Jahan Se Acha. But action has been taken steadily 
now i am told that all the madrasas in up are going to sing janaganamana this is shocking to me because having seen my children grow up in the united states and go to schools here any event where the parents are involved or if there is a, 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 a tournament going on between school different schools where one schools are playing each other every event begins with the singing of the national anthem the united states takes it very very seriously and this is a way of trying to identify and i would highly encourage that this should have never been dropped there is no such thing as you know oh i am special therefore i will not uh, you know recite the national anthem this is something that is very wrong whoever gave this idea doesn't have his head in the right place be that as it may i hope that all these things will start you know uh, waking up the psyche of the nation and everybody starts being happy being proud of being a sanatani thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar